Hi everyone, welcome to StampinGala.com. Today's project is this adorable little treat holder that looks like a milk carton. I'm using Stampin' Up's brand new Over the Moon Cling Stamp Set for this project, as well as Love What You Do. For this project, I'm using these two stamps to create the spots on this little tag. I have created a project sheet that you can find on my blog at stampingala.com. You can print this off or just download it, and it has all the dimensions that you need for all of my projects today. To get started, I'm using a piece of smoky slate, and this is cut at seven and a half by eight and a half. And on the eight and a half side, you're gonna score it at two, four, six, and eight. You'll turn it and score it at two, five, and seven. Next, I'm gonna fold on all the score lines. And then I'm gonna trim it as well. Now this part will be folded back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to cut this panel right out. So it's gonna cut right up to the intersecting score line and that'll be cut out. Now we're also gonna cut up on all these score lines and we're working on the bottom of the treat holder right now. Okay, in addition to that, we're gonna cut out this little square as well as this rectangle. And again, this right here, this little rectangle right here. We're also going to do some additional scoring. So what I did was I took a ruler and I put a little dot right there on the two panels that are missing the top portion. So these panels are two inches wide. So what I did was put a little dot um, right in the middle at one inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score this from that center point to here. Okay, so just take a ruler and a bone folder and just get this straight and just score. Same thing on this side. It just makes this easier to fold when you create the milk carton. And same on this side. Okay, so you can help it by just folding this just like that. And it'll help the fold when you go ahead and when you're putting it the final phase together. Okay. So one other thing, we can trim this just a tiny bit here. Okay, so we're gonna do put some tear and tape right there. And you can rip it off with your nail or scissors. Okay, so before I take this off, I do want to do a little bit, um, clean up the the score line here and just just a little bit in here as well. It's just kind of difficult to get in there. That looks pretty good, but this one I need to trim up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my corner rounder and I'm just gonna round these corners. Okay. 
there. Didn't have it in there all the way. Okay. So now we can take this off and we'll just fold this down. So now when you put this together by folding that, it comes together really easily. Okay, so we're gonna put the bottom together first. So let me see, here's the seam. So we'll lay that flat so we know that's the bottom. We're gonna push the sides in then bring the bottom up and finally this one will be the last the front one going towards the back so we'll put some more tear and tape right here I really like using a ruler better to tear this off okay so then we'll just fold that over. Okay, so again, this is the back. So we'll just put this together just like this. And I'm gonna take, this is just a hole punch, a very strong hole punch. And I'm gonna punch this through. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so again, I've got to find the back. The seam is so close to the, you can't even tell where the seam is, really. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my ribbon and push this through both holes in front and then bring it back to the front. Does that make sense? Okay. So we're going to tie a bow now. And then we'll decorate it. All right, let me grab some scissors. Trim this off. Okay, now to the decorating. Okay, so I have four panels, and we're going to snail these together. These D, the DSP is one and three quarters by three and three quarters. The Whisper White is one and seven eighths by three and seven. No, two and seven eighths. This is two and seven eighths. I better make sure. Hold on one second. Yeah, two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And like I said, all these dimensions are on my blog. So you might want to run over to my blog and pick them up. And they just, they're called project sheets. So now I'm just going to take this panel, put some glue on the back, and just pop it right here. Now offline, I did three other panels. I'm just going to put this on. And then we'll do some stamping. Now if you like this video today, I'd love it if you would click like, and then if you're interested in subscribing, you can um, click the subscribe button, and then also click the bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you will receive an, an email every time I upload a new video. Okay, so it's all done. We just have to do some stamping and finish decorating it. Okay, so we're going to use, let me show you the one we're using. We're using this one right here. So we're going to use Memento ink. 
And you have to use this if you're using our Stampin' Blend markers, which we are. Just like that. And then we're going to do some coloring. So this is Smoky Slate, and it's the light Smoky Slate. And these blend very nicely. That's why they're called Stampin' Blends. Okay. I think that's it for the, for the gray. And then we're going to add some Flirty Flamingo. Or her flower her and her boots okay and then finally we have some granny apple green and this is the light granny apple green okay so now we're gonna Bring in our big shot. We're using the frame from our, this is our stitched shapes framelit dies. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in and, and crop this out. So we're going to put this about right there. One tip I do want to tell you, when you're using a die cut machine, what you want to do before you try and pull the die off is flip it over and look at it on the back and make sure it's all cut out. I've made that mistake before where I tried to, I assumed it was cut out correctly and it wasn't. So it was like uncut here, so I had to try and line it up again. So we're going to snail this to uh, powdered pink scalloped oval, which I got from our layering oval dies. We're going to pop this up on dimensionals as well. It's just easier if you check it out before you try and pull it off because you can run it through again and not have to worry about lining it back up. So we're just popping this right here and then we're gonna do a little bit more of stamping and then we're done. So first of all, we're gonna, this is just a half inch strip and we're gonna trim this just on the edge like that, okay? And then we're going to take this one and we're going to create a banner that looks like the little cow spots, okay? The spots on a cow. And all I'm doing is doing this randomly. And these stamps come from our Stampin' Up stamp set called Love What You Do and I'll show you it in a second. And what's really cool, it looks like this. It's really just a floral stamp set, and I'm using these two. Okay, so that one's done, and then we're gonna take a piece of half-inch strip of um, powdered pink, and we're going to stamp over the moon for you. And so we're just gonna Okay, so that's good. And we're just going to trim this off as well. So we're just going to trim this like this. And then this one, we're just going to cut up the center. 
and cut in from each side to create a banner. Okay, so now we're gonna place this on here, but it's a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna trim that off and gonna put a little bit of snail just towards the top. And we're gonna put this about right here. And then this as well. We're just gonna trim these all off, just like that. Add some more snail to the back. I'm just gonna pop that on. So there is your finished project. Is that so cute? Anyway, I hope you visit my blog often at stampingala.com. I post there a few times a week, as well as my Facebook page. I post daily there at Stampin' Gala Stampers Group. And of course, I have a Pinterest um, page as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a nice evening. Bye-bye.